What's up my friends? Today we are going to decorate my March monthly page and I have these stickers from Caitlin Plans and they don't necessarily go together but I thought they'd look really nice together. So these are just some geo confettis and it kind of lined up with the colors with these crafty crayons and too cool for school set. So I thought that would just be really fun to use. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I use this monthly spread for a little bit of memory keeping, like writing down the best memory of each day. So I can't cover up the, all the boxes. Um, I need to leave a little bit of space on each box. But first, we definitely don't need this little floral truck. This is the Mickey and Minnie Seasonal Planner. What do we want to do with this spine? I could go ahead and cover it up because these are pretty big. But I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to leave it um, and ignore it. <laughs> so we'll go with that. All right, so first we've got this big, nice open spot here. So I can use a quote that goes across it a little bit. And since it's about crayons, let's make crayon be upright <laughs> with the text. Okay. Go ahead and just put in some geo confetti. Do I want to white out that line? No, I'm not going to bother whiting things out this month. Sometimes I do, but this month I'm not going to. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Is it going to fit if I put this here? Yeah, I'll have a little bit of the box left to use on the 31st. So I just won't fill this side of that box with anything else. Straight up there. use this one might actually fit really well right here nice okay let's see this I actually do want to cover up but the cool thing is is that these will all fit pretty well I'm just trying to think if I want to use a piece of sticker paper over it first. I might want to do that. So here's just some label paper. And let's see, how big does it need to be? Let's just mark where it needs to be. So I'm not going to go grab my... Uh, paper cutter this morning because this seems pretty quick to go like this. Just make a line to see where it is. I'm just going to cut on the inside of the line so that I don't have that fold on it. Okay. My scissors have all sorts of stickers on them. Let me just get that off. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut right here and we'll see if that's big enough. It might not cover up all the dots, but it'll cover up all the little Mickey Mouse heads and clovers. I think, yeah, okay. 
So now with that, it should make it when I put other things on top of it, I can use some of the clear ones too, um, without having to white out anything. So let's go ahead and get started with just making this spine spread then. Now that I've decided to do it, it's an easy way to add a lot of flair without, um, what's the word, without having to over decorate the rest of the page. Okay, I'm just going to white out ones that are going to run into the way run into the way of these um clear stickers i might just wipe these all out a little bit this gel pen isn't perfect but it does hide them i could have made this just a tiny bit thicker but oh well this is looking fun all right, we do want to put a few crayons in here because this is a crayon spread. Put it like that. And get one of these little color splashes from this one. Um, and then, so that I can put some of these dots in, we'll go ahead, grab a dot, and then, see, let's not use the pen or the pencil, because this is a crayon kind of spread, but we could use the tape, and let's get one of these in first. Okay, perfect. So let's take care of that and then we can continue decorating the rest of the spread. I'm happy with my decision to cover that up. This is the tricky part, making sure that I cut this straight. It's easiest from this side, so you can see that line. Alrighty. And then I need to punch it. I like punching it with these inwards so that the sticky parts touch each other and then um, they don't get stuck to your punch. And it's really easy to line up with these little grid lines here. If I can, it might be too thick right now. Let's see. Ah, got it. Okay. This is supposed to take three pieces of paper, so this might be slightly thicker with the, um, this divider on it. But it worked. All right. And then this one was slightly taller right here with that sticker just came up just a little bit there. All right, that's looking awesome. Cool, much better than with the, um, much better than with the little other thing. Sorry, my 
our monitor for my toddler is right here. It's early in the morning. She's got a little cold, so she just coughed. I was checking to see if she was up. Okay, let's use a few of these push pins. Maybe all of the push pins, just because they're cute and we can use them. So bring one up here and uh, not the yellow. Let's do the orange up here. See, so that I'm putting push, push pins on important days. Spring begins. Um, and then we've got the Baha'i fast going for 19 days. So I guess this one will go over here because it ends on the 19th. Now I won't be fasting since I'm breastfeeding, but my husband will be and the whole family will be kind of, um, participating in festivities and things, you know, dinners and all of that kind of stuff. All right, so just getting some decorations around. I've never really been one to not cover up these white lines, like here, for instance, but I actually am really enjoying not having to cover them up right now, and I don't mind it. Okay. Let's see, let's get the other two crayons in, just to make sure that I've used up all these crayons. Do I cover up St. Patrick's Day? Because this is a great spot for a crayon. I could put one like here. They're kind of lined up, but that's okay. And then I feel like I want one Somewhere up here, not on this row. I guess not here because it's pretty close to that one. This makes the most sense. And then now that I'm thinking about it, I might want to put this be colorful right here. Which would mean shifting. some of these stickers if I can. Yeah, that looks great. And then this one, we can put here and it can go over that 26 just a little bit. I am going to save some of these for my currently page this month, but I wanted to definitely use up all of the crayon stickers here. Okay, leave enough space there. And I've got three little, what would you call these, swooshes <laughs> uh, left. So, just trying to figure out where they might go. Well, this one can be decorated up here a little bit more because this is just empty. So let's go ahead and Add in a couple more little pieces of flare to just fill it in. A small one. Like that. Okay, so that's filled in. And then I just feel like 
this little part that I covered up could just have a little bit of something. So we'll just put some dots over that. And I think that is done. And then as I said, I will use these with my currently page this month so that I can use these stickers up and that the two pages can match. All right, thanks for watching. Um, please make sure you like this if you enjoyed this video so I get that positive feedback. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.